Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favourite village building ideas, specifically some small decorations that will really add some life into the town you are building. Now I have made quite a few villages and cities throughout my time of playing this game, so I'm going to be sharing some of my ideas from all of those with all of you. Hopefully it will be able to inspire and get those creative juices flowing. Most of these by the way will be from my village Fisher's Nest, it's definitely my favourite of the bunch, plus it's the most up to date with the game. The first idea here is lamp posts. These do not have to be complicated at all. Take mine for example, it consists of four different blocks. That's it. You don't need to make them super large or even super detailed, it's just a nice little addition to the side of your pathways. Next up we have carts. These can come in all different shapes and sizes, from the smallest that just carry a chest or two, all the way up to something as big as a wagon. This really makes the village seem lively, even if you don't have any villagers to use them. You can also have some stacks of crates in certain areas. This is my custom crate texture, which isn't in the vanilla game, but you can use barrels, note blocks, beehives, basically whatever you think could pass off as some storage crates. If you've got an open space and you're looking for something to place there, how about building a well? This is a tiny well, it's just about as small as I think they can get. I actually first saw this design from Fwip by the way, but if your area is a bit larger, you can always build a slightly larger well. Another water feature you can add is a fountain, this always makes for a great centerpiece. You may have already had the idea to build a garden in your village, but if you're looking for some ideas of what to build inside of the garden itself, well I've got you covered. Here is my very small garden in Fisher's Nest. We have a gazebo, several plant pots and flower beds, a picnic table, a picnic blanket and even a tree swing. Now if you don't want your villagers swinging whilst they sit, a bench will do just fine. If you have a school inside of your village, it could be a cool idea to build a playground nearby for the children to use. I'm not sure if this exactly counts, but something I did quite a bit in this village was add these walls in. I think they do a great job at making the village seem more close quartered, which is a feeling I love when walking around this place. Behind one of these walls I have a flower garden. Nothing special, just a handful of flowers planted down. It gives a nice pop of colour. Perhaps you want to upgrade on that idea, if so I would suggest adding in some beehives, that way you can have some buzzy buddies flying around your village which will of course add a great deal of life. Anything that moves in this game can be a wonderful building tool. This detail was quite painstaking to build, I must be honest. It's a notice board inspired from The Witcher, hence the signs. The reason why it was so tricky to put together was because I used armor stands as the posts. They can be very fiddly to move around sometimes, but of course you don't have to use armor stands if you make it a bit bulkier, you can just use fences for instance. Here we have a newspaper stand for the newspaper boy. I've got it in a busy part of town as of course he's trying to sell as many papers as possible, so keep that in mind when choosing the placement of this one. The busy part of the village I'm referring to is actually my market. This is one of the larger ideas today, but I do think it's a really nice addition to make. You could even just build two or three stalls to make a mini market of sorts. Another small build I have in the market is this painter's easel. I love this, it's easily one of my favourite small details I've made. This next idea isn't exactly for the village, but more so the surroundings of it. This is my villager campsite, possibly for travellers or maybe even outlaws that were removed from the village. It's a fun little build and you can mess around with the meaning and the lore of it. So that's really it for specific build ideas, the last things I want to suggest are what I feel really transforms a village, and that is one, pathways, and two, landscaping. So I'm sure you've had the thought to add pathways into your village or town, but I personally see them as a necessity with this sort of thing, so if you haven't built any, maybe give it a go, mess around with some different blocks that you think work well together, and see what type of pathway you can make. The second thing as I said is landscaping, so trees, bushes, ponds, waterfalls, even just growing some tall grass and flowers with bone meal, it can really improve the overall look of your village. Personally, I find it easiest to add both of these in when I've finished off all of the main buildings in a specific area, that way I know where all of the pathways lead to and I can see what space I have left to fill in with the landscaping. It's what works best for me, so maybe that's what works best for you too. 
So there we go everybody, that was some of my favourite village build ideas. I really hope this video has helped you out, thank you ever so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.